Okay guys, review tayo ngayon ng supplements natin. Whey! Itong sasabihin ko, sobrang gandang whey na to kasi masarap siya. Tsaka mataas yung protein count niya, 30 grams. So okay na okay to. Paano ang masabi? Ah, uh, pag mataas protein, okay to. Paano ang masabi? Okay to kasi gamit to ni Idol eh, so... Paano ang masabi? Okay guys, ito na talaga. Maganda tong whey na to kasi nakalagay sa label. Ripped. Na tayo gusto mag -rip, tapos nakalagay revolutionized. So, parang bago siya. Paano masabi? Ano, nakalagay rin toned. Magiging toned tayo. Yun gusto. Paano masabi? Nakalagay sa label. Okay, meron ako nakitang whey. Makintab siya. Pag makintab, maganda. Ito, pwede din siyang pang babae. What is up everyone? We are back again with another episode here at Brain Gains. I am Dr. Joma Adornado and today we'll be talking about something very close to my heart, whey. I've been drinking whey for maybe almost 10 years now and masasabi ko sa inyo na madaming magagandang brands out there. Pero madami ring brands na I wouldn't recommend. So on today's episode, I'll be teaching you how to choose your way. Madami kasi ng iba yan na wala sa tamang daan. First things first. First things first. I'm not really. First things first. Kailan natin malama na madaming iba-ibang proteins out there, and dapat marunong tayo pumili kasi hindi equal ang mga proteins. Meron tayo ng whey protein, casein, beef. Rice, pea protein, at iba pa. Pero dapat maintindihan natin na if may 20 grams of protein from whey at may 20 grams protein ka from soy, hindi siya equal. Oh my gosh, revelation. Yes, hindi siya equal and I will teach you what is the best and how to choose. And can you guess it? What is the best protein source out there? That is whey. Malamang, yun yung title. So whey is the best because of a few reasons. It is the best for muscle building because of its bioavailability. One big word, de ba? Basically, ang bioavailability. Si pinyo na lang paano siya magiging available sa body natin once ininom natin. Ngayon ang whey pag ininom natin mas available siya, mas distribute sa katawan natin compared sa mga ibang klasing proteins. Bakit ganon? If we take a look at the protein bioavailability, which is actually measured through its biological value, dito sa chart nato. If we look at the biological value of whey, makikita natin na 100 ang scoring niya. Ibig sabihin 100% ang maabsorb natin. If uminom ka ng whey protein na 100 grams, 100 grams rin ang maabsorb ng body natin. If uminom ka ng casein na 100 grams, Makikita natin sa chart na only 80 grams ang kaya natin ma-absorb. Pag soy protein naman, pag uminom ka ng 100 grams, only 74 grams ang ma-absorb ng body natin. Kaya iba-iba ang effect ng proteins depending on the source. Kaya the best source for muscle building is whey protein. Another reason why whey is the best is because of its leucine content. Ang leucine ay isa sa mga branch chain amino acid. Silang tatlo ay in charge sa pag-build ng muscle natin. Pero si Lucin ang pinaka-importante na amino acid. Kasi siya ang tagapindot ng on button pag gagawa ka na ng muscle mo. So gusto natin adequate amounts of Lucin. Ngayon, on this chart, makikita natin na whey has the highest Lucin content out of all the protein sources. So, mas gusto natin mataas na Lucin, magandang bioavailability, Whey is the best choice for muscle building. Now that we know that whey is the king of all supplements and whey is the right way towards a nice body, I will now teach you how to choose your brand. The easiest way and most effective way is go to a third-party site and papakita nila sa inyo doon yung reviews nila sa mga supplements. Third-party meaning hindi sila bias sa mga reviews nila kasi wala silang kinalaman sa companies na yan. So, ang gusto natin, punta tayo online, check natin, check natin yung whey natin. Uy, 25 grams ang nakalagay sa whey to check nila kung tama ba yung nakalagay sa label. For example, we have this product. Sabi nila, 25 grams of protein ang laman ng whey nila. 
Pero nung chinek siya ng review site na to, only 19 grams ang nakikita nila. At dahil 25 grams siya, I'm sure mas mahal to. Pero because of these review sites, makikita natin na dapat hindi natin to pinipili kasi meron mas maganda. Kaya binigyan nila to ng grade na 75 out of 100. Ang maganda sa mga review sites na to, they check all the different macronutrients as well as any heavy metals na bawal dapat makita sa whey protein. Pero majority ng mga products natin dito sa Philippines, hindi siya nakikita sa ibang countries. So, hindi rin ito nare-review. Kaya pwede tayo madaya. Kaya important ang my brain gains. So, now I will teach you how to... So, I will teach you how to choose your brand based on the label lang. Buti pa yung weight. May label. So, number one... You have to look at the serving size. Sa isang scoop, ilan yung serving, kung ilan grams. Tapos, check nyo yung protein, kung ilan grams. Dapat yung dalawang number na yun, magkalapit. Kung mas magkalapit sila, mas maganda. Yun yung gusto natin between two. For example, we have this product na 30 grams of protein. Wow, napakadami. Pero if tingnan mo yung isang scoop niya, 44 Parang ang laki ng difference, 14 grams in difference. Ano kayo laman nito? Yung isa naman, meron tayong 24 grams of protein. Pwede na, average siguro. Pero, 31 grams lang sa isang scoop. So, 7 lang yung difference nila. Sino mas maganda? Yung 7 yung difference or yung 14 yung difference? Doon tayo sa 7 yung difference kasi mas mababa yung difference nila. So, baka wala silang masyadong fillers. Fillers. Kasi ang rule is, pag whey concentrate yan, sa isang 25 grams na whey concentrate, 80% dapat ang protein natin. So, 25 grams times 80%, dapat 20 grams of protein ang laman nito. Kung whey isolate yan, 90% protein. So, 25 grams ang isang scoop, 90%, 22.5 grams of protein dapat nakalagay. The problem is, masyado tong mahal gawin. Malulugi ang mga companies at kailangan nila mag-price ng mataas kung gusto nila gawin to. So, maglalagay sila ng counting fillers para lang kumincrease yung difference ng per scoop sa grams of protein. Ang problem sa ibang companies, nilalakihan nila to at hindi natin napapansin. Kaya dapat malapit yung serving size per scoop at yung amount of protein. Number two, kailangan check natin yung BCAs. Particularly, yung loosen content niya. Sabi nila, if may 25 grams ka of whey concentrate, 11% non ay lucin. So, dapat meron 2.75 grams of lucin per 25 grams na isang scoop. Based on research, ang gusto natin is 2.5 grams to 3 grams of lucin per scoop. Kaya kung bibili kayo ng whey protein, sana may at least 2.5 grams siya to 3 grams para hindi tayo malugi at ma-maximize natin yung muscle protein synthesis or yung pag-build natin ng muscle. Number three, we check the ingredient list. Dapat walang added amino acids dito. Walang glycine, glutamine, alanine, taurine sa any part ng ingredient list kasi possible na protein spiking sila or otherwise known as amino spiking. What happens ba if may amino spiking? Yung nakikita natin na protein sa likod ng label ay nadadaya. Unfortunately, yes, nadadaya ito. How? Quick explanation lang. Yung FDA kasi, the way they measure the protein dun sa likod ng label will depend on how many nitrogen bonds meron yung product mo. Our proteins kasi are made out of amino acids. Tapos lahat ng amino acids natin, may nitrogen siya. Yung nitrogen na ito ang binibilang ng FDA. Kung madaming nitrogen, iakit nila ang protein count. Ang problem dun sa mga amino acids na sinabi ko, yung glycine, glutamine, alanine, taurine, wala silang tulong sa muscle protein synthesis. Pero pag nilagay mo sila sa supplement mo, kaya mo pataasin yung protein count. For example, meron tayong scoop of whey. May 20 grams of protein siya. Naglagay tayo ng alanine, glycine, taurine, at kung ano pang amino acids. Mabibilang ang nitrogen bonds nila at kaya pataasin ng produkto yung protein sa likod ng label. The problem is, hindi siya mas effective. So, ang nangyayari, uminom lang tayo ng hangin or fillers. Naluloko tayo at mabibenta ito sa atin na mas mahal. Kaya, if ever bibili kayo ng whey, 
sana walang added amino acids sa ingredient list. So these are your non-essential amino acids. Dapat wala sila sa ingredient list. Pero if ever nakita nyo sila sa amino acid list, then this is number four. Number four is that your non-essential amino acid should be lower than your BCAAs. Ang essential amino acids natin, the most important is BCAAs kasi sila ang in charge of muscle building. Now, yung mga taurine, alanine, glycine na sinabi ko kanina, naturally, meron naman ang way na to. Sa isang scoop, makikita natin siya. Pero dapat mas mababa sila sa BCAAs natin. If mas mataas sila, then possible may amino spiking tayo. Number 5, proprietary blend. Dapat walang proprietary blend sa ingredient list natin. Kasi this is where they can actually produce amino spiking. Or paglagay ng mga fillers. Or yung sinasabi natin na hangin. Kasi ang proprietary blend ay parang secret ingredient nila. At pwede nila hindi disclose kung how much ang nilalagay nila. Parang secret formula. Pwede rin nila ilagay na matrix, proprietary formula, or other types of words. Basta ganun. Something like that. Number six. Dapat walang creatine sa way natin. <gasps> oh, creatine! Oh no! Pero wait lang. Creatine is one of my favorite supplements. Bakit bawal to sa way? Now, don't get me wrong. Minumparin kayo ng creatine nyo. Bawal lang siya makita sa way. Why is that? Like I said, yung FDA, the way they measure the protein count is through nitrogen. Ilang ba ang nitrogen meron sa produkto na to? Pero, yung creatine, meron kasi siyang not one, not two, but three nitrogen bonds. Creatine. Yung creatine mo, meron three nitrogen bonds. Ang mangyayari, Pag meron kang isang gram ng creatine mo, tapos nilagay mo yan sa supplement mo. Ang isang gram ng creatine, pwede siya mabilang as much as 2 grams of protein. So imagine mo, meron akong 20 grams of protein, nilagay mo ng 5 grams of creatine. Pwede ko ilagay sa likod ng label, hindi lang 20 grams of protein. Baka 30 grams of protein. Ngayon, dumami ba yung protein? Hindi. Sino malulugi? Creatine pa more. Kaya may mga lawsuit na nangyari kasi ang dami nilang nilalagay na creatine. This lab has proven that creatine can count up to 143% of protein. This company na nasu is one of the major distributors here in the Philippines. Kaya na bahala mag-research kung sino yan. Kaya very important na walang creatine ang way natin because this is another form of protein spiking. Ang tao dito, nitrogen spiking. Kasi ilang nitrogen bonds meron ng creatine? Creatine. Tatlo. Ganito kami mag-memorize eh. To summarize, madaming protein sources out there. Pero whey pa rin is the best because of its bioavailability and leucine content. Whenever you pick your whey, number one, dapat yung protein count natin and yung serving size per scoop is close yung number nila. Number two, dapat yung leucine content natin at least 2.5 to 3 grams. Number three, dapat walang amino spiking. So wala yung mga non-essential amino acid sa ingredient list. Number four, mas mataas yung BCAAs natin doon sa non-essential amino acids. Number five, dapat walang word na proprietary blend, matrix, formulation, doon sa ingredient list natin. Para nakikita natin na walang added any types of protein or may mga nakatagong spiking. Number six, dapat walang creatine ang way natin because this is a form of protein spiking called nitrogen spiking. Kasi ilan nitrogen bonds meron ng creatine? Okay, bye. So if you have any way you're lying around right now, check the label. Baka maging kayo. Check nyo yung label sa likod and see if tama yung mga nakikita nyo. So there you have it. That is another episode here on Brain Gains. I am Dr. Joma Adornado. If you found this video helpful, I know you did. Please like and share with your friends. Pwede na yung family. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. Especially that I will be reviewing supplement products. Please like my Facebook page and follow my Instagram account. 
for any future updates. And always remember, hindi lang dapat panglasa ang ginagamit sa pagpili ng way, dapat may kasamang brain games.